you stopped by our bedside Thank you, Lord. and spoke to us dying soul. Told us to rise. Get up. Get up. And see a day that you've never yeah. seen before. Yeah. Yeah. When it has passed and gone, you will not see it again. So truly we can say that all night. All night. And then all day. Yeah. Yeah. Thou keep what angels yes. watching over us. Yes. We come now that you will just bless this assembly here. Yes. Bless Pastor Robinson. Yes. 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 Robinson. Yes. The most powerful. We undergird him with the power of the Lord. And oh God, when we hear your word today, mm -hmm. yes. give us ears to hear yes. and yes. eyes to see yes. what your spirit has for us today. And then when it's all over, Master, down here, we, like other soldiers, must come off the field of life to study war no more. Go into our rooms, no more to come out. Lay down in our deathbed, no more to rise. But in that day and in that hour, we just want to hear your welcoming voice saying, Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Good and yeah. faithful servant. Yeah. You've been faithful yeah. over a few things. Mm. Now come on up come on. a little high. Yeah. Well, I'll make you rulers over me. Mm -hmm. Over that. But mm -hmm. well, there will be no more sorrow. Over that. But there will be no more funerals, no more hearse driven carriage. Over that! Yeah. 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 Saints, we we'll rejoice in your name. Yes. In the name of Jesus, we ask all of these blessings. For his sake that we pray. Amen. 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 God, once again, we do come in the precious name of Jesus. Yes. Yes. Lord, we just first want to say much obliged for all of them. You yourself are responsible for doing in our lives. Now, we pray, Lord God, that you would continue to be our Lord, our God, our strength, our salvation, also our Redeemer. Now, we ask for preaching power right now in the name of Jesus. Now, we pray, oh God, that something would be said on this day from your holy arrivals and your divine word. It might help someone along their way. Yep. It might encourage someone, Lord God, that's uncertain yeah. about the directions of this world and this society. So, Master, I ask, oh God, that you would move me out of the way that your will can be done, that your word can be proclaimed. And, Lord, we will be careful to give you all the praise, oh, all yeah. the glory. And most of all, Master, we'll find ourselves giving you all of the honor. Yes. For it's in Jesus' name that we do pray and for his sake. Yes. Amen. And once again, amen. 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 I'm kind of reminded of the song that I have to remind myself of. And that's God is real. Yes, he is. There are some things we may not know. There are some places we cannot go. But this one thing that I know for sure that God is real and I can feel Him in my soul. But every now and then when I feel Him in my soul, sometimes my soul is troubled. Amen. Trouble from all of the things that's going on in our society. But I know God is real. Because I can still feel him in my soul, even though my soul is troubled every now and then and is disturbed. I still feel him in my soul. From the book of Proverbs, Proverbs uh, written mostly by David, uh, basically dealing with the poetic books of the Bible. Amen. And when we look at the 73rd number, of Psalms, we find that it's not written by David, but it's written by one of the chief musicians by the name of Asaph. Yeah. Okay. And we can see that Asaph has some issues going on the same way that we have issues going on in this world today. And a lot of issues that we have going on today 
will cause you to have a troubled soul. Yeah. And that, that's what we want to talk about, a troubled, a troubled soul. All right. And when you have a, a troubled soul, you need to go, as Asaph did, from uh, protest to praise. Yeah. Asaph was protesting God. As we read this text, and I'm not going to read all of it. I'm going to read uh, verses 1 and 2 okay. and verse number 5. Amen. All the way down to verse number 5. And I'm going to skip over until I get to verse number 16. Beginning with verse 13, Lisa. That they're not at rest. And a lot of it is because of what's going on in our society. Okay. Uh, it seems like uh, it's the pandemic is going on and COVID-19 is, is going on and Black Lives Matter is going on and it's a lot going on in our society today. That's right. And sometimes with everything going on in our society, sometimes we look around at, at the church folk, people that believe in God and seem like sometimes they're the ones that have more trouble. Yeah. And then, then when we look around, we see all of the scandals and we see the wicked and we see the thugs and we see the gangbangers and all of those type of people see, 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 seem like they seem to prosper. Yeah, prosper. I mean, they wear jewelry around their neck, drive nice cars, have big 22s on, got, got loud music in their vehicles, huh? money in their pocket. Something that seem like they are the ones that's prospering while it seems like we are trying to do the best that we can, Mother Johnson. Yeah. It seems like sometimes every now and then we, we, we just don't understand why, why we're doing the best we can.